Hello everyone, my name is Ravi Mishra and today I'm going to show you how to run multiple workload on Cisco UCS server with NVIDIA A100 GPU. Today, researchers and developers get a dedicated GPU to run their workload, even if the workload only uses a fraction of the GPU's compute power. Also, IT don't want to assign dedicated GPU servers to these team as the workload has different resource requirements. They want these servers and GPU to be shareable to maximize utilization across multiple teams and across multiple workloads. IT wants to offer GPU as a service or machine learning as a service to these teams. The NVIDIA A100 Tensor Core GPU deliver unprecedented acceleration at every scale for AI and machine learning application. With 20x performance from previous generation and 40 GB of HBM2 memory. It will be supported on Cisco UCS C480 M5 server where you can use 6 PCI GPU in standalone mode and 5 in UCS managed mode. In Cisco UCS C240 M5 server, you can use two of these GPUs. The NVIDIA A100 Tensor Core GPU includes a groundbreaking feature called Multi-Instance GPU or MIG, which partition the GPU into as many as seven instances, each with dedicated memory, compute, and bandwidth. This allows multiple users to run their workload on the same GPU, maximizing per GPU utilization and user productivity. Now IT can share this GPU resources with multiple users and they can each have their own compute and memory resources. Users will have flexibility to run any type of workload on a MIG instance. You can also have diverse deployment environment as it will be supported with bare metal, Docker container, Kubernetes, and virtualized environment. These are some of the valid GPU instance combination possible on a single A100 GPU. A GPU instance can be subdivided into multiple compute instance. Let's take a look how to enable MIG on NVIDIA A100 GPU. By default, MIG mode is not enabled on the NVIDIA A100. MIG mode can be enabled on a per GPU basis with the following command. If no GPU ID is specified, then MIG mode is applied to all the GPU on the system. Once enabled, you can list all the available GPU instance profile with this command. You can also list the possible placement available using the following command. The command shows that the user can create two instance type, 3G, 20 gig, which is the profile ID 9, or seven instance of 1 gig 5 GB, profile ID of 19. Let's create seven instance of 1G.5GB profile, which is profile ID 19 on this GPU. You can also list the instance. And now after creating the GPU instance, you can also create seven compute instance with this command. Now you have seven GPU instance to run seven different workloads, either by same user or by seven different users at the same time. It's very easy to create or delete these instances by using NVIDIA driver API using NVIDIA SMI command. Let's delete these seven instances and recreate the another set of unique GPU instance for our demo here. In this example, I'm going to create GPU instance with pool of four GPU. I'm going to use this instance to run training benchmark with TensorFlow. Apart from this four GPU instance pool, I also have three other GPU instance available to run other workload. So I will create three separate instance of one GPU each for these light inference workload. Let's create these four GPU profile on single A100 the profile ID for 4 GPU pool 4G.20GB is 5 and for 1 GPU each is 19. We can verify these GPU instance and then 
create a respective computer instance using instance ID. If you run NVIDIA SMI command, you can see you have four GPUs with different resources to run your workload. Let's run TensorFlow training by pulling the latest container from NVIDIA NGC portal and run on four GPU profile. This user do not need full GPU to run this workload as dataset size for training in this case is not that big. In the case of GPUs like V100, he had to dedicate one full physical GPU to run this training workload. But in this case, he's only using half of the GPU, compute and memory, and leaving other half for other applications and users. You can also watch the utilization of one GPU instance in NVIDIA SMI and can also check the other three GPUs instance are available for other users. Let's initiate a BERT Q&A inference application on NGC pre-trained model on one of the GPU instance. This is a very lightweight application and only requires a slice of GPU. In this case, we chose the lowest GPU profile to run this application. Now we still have two more GPU instances available. Let's run Qflow on one of them and maybe a simple inference application on another. Now you can see we have four workloads running at the same time on a single physical A100 GPU leveraging multi-instance GPU feature. All these applications are isolated from each other and running in a multi-tenant way, providing the full aspect of optimized resource sharing. Thanks for watching the video.